number one block that people have with meditation is that they don't know when to meditate or they say, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time for it. My life is too crazy to sit in quiet and peace and meditate, right? Nothing could be further from the truth because at those crazy times, at those busy times, you need the meditation the most. What I'm going to ask you to do is to meditate maybe 3 to 11 minutes. Can't you find 3 minutes of your time to sit and meditate? Can't you find maybe 11 minutes? Those 11 minutes will absolutely change your life. They will change your perspective. They have ability to change and heal your body. And they have the ability even to change your DNA and to see the world in a different eyes, with a different lens, maybe a little sharper lens, maybe a little cleaner lens. I think the real issue is, well, I don't want to sit and do nothing. I don't have time to sit and do nothing. If you invest 11 minutes of your time a day, those 11 minutes will make your brain clearer will help you figure out the problem. Sometimes, you, you know, at work or at home, you might be running into the same problems and you're like thinking about it, thinking about it, can't figure it out. Meditation can help you figure out these problems much quicker. So there you go. 11 minutes maybe saved you two hours, maybe two days, maybe a years of your life. Because when you sit and do nothing, you actually create time. How, right? By eliminating some of the ways you lose time in life. Here are four ways we usually lose time in life. First, the moment you lose focus on what you're doing is the moment you're losing time. Second, and this is the big one, we lose time by making mistakes. Take a moment now and just imagine how much more time you would have if you wouldn't have to clean up after your mistakes. Third way we lose time is by daydreaming and getting lost in our subconscious thoughts. You see, we have millions of thoughts in our head and not all of them deserve our attention. Lots could be just plainly distracting and sometimes we have no power of controlling them. Fourth way we lose time is because we don't see the windows of opportunities and resources that are available to us. That usually happens when we are too stressed out and our view is too narrow. Meditation helps to eliminate a lot of these. I'm not saying you're not going to be making mistakes. I'm not saying you're not going to be daydreaming. But you'll be able to focus on what you are meant to do and do it better. Do it with a cleaner, clearer head and you'll do it in less time.